Hello friends. Welcome to Currently a Theory with Coach Miller Light. Really great topic today. I was listening to Conversations with God, book one, one of my favorites. And Neil Donald Walsh says to the creator, why can't I seem to attract enough money in my life? And the answer was monumental, a monumental answer today. Here's what I wrote. The problem is lack of understanding of the principles of abundance, together usually with a massive misjudgment of what is good and what is evil. Okay, how great is this? So why, if I'd like to attract more abundance, what, what's going on with that? What's going on with money? Why is money the way it is? What a powerful statement. The problem is lack of understanding. Like we could just stop right there, right? It's the, what's the problem? Lack of understanding, increased understanding, increase my awareness, my understanding of how the universe works and I will attract more abundance is what I'm getting out of this message today. Lack, the problem is a lack of understanding of the principles of abundance together usually with a massive misjudgment of what is good and what is evil. Well, this sounds great. Here's what it goes on to say. You carry a thought around that money is bad. You carry a thought around that God is good, bless you. Therefore, in your thought system, divinity and money do not mix. This then makes it difficult for you to take money for any good thing. If a thing is judged good by you, you value it less in terms of money. So the better something is, the more worthwhile, the less money it's worth. How interesting, right? I, I see this as I'm writing this today and as listening to it, I, I see how this, this is my idea about money, that this is what's going on is it's my idea about money. And the good news is that once I know what idea I'm carrying and why my life is the way it is because of that idea, because of that thought that then is altering the oscillation of my being, and then law of attraction is responding to that vibration, that oscillation and bringing me a money experience that matches. And it all stems back to, of course, of course it's me. It all stems back to my beliefs, my thoughts. All right, so goes on to say, so your teachers make a pittance and your strip teasers a fortune. Your priests and rabbis live on bread and water while you throw coins at entertainers. Think about it. Everything on which you play a place a high intrinsic value, you insist must come cheaply. This having it all backwards is a propensity with you and it stems from wrong thought. The wrong thought is your idea about money. You love it, yet you say it is the root of all evil. You adore it, yet you call it filthy lucre. You say a person is filthy rich. If a person does become wealthy doing good things, you immediately become suspect. You make that wrong. A minister, she better not make lots of money, assuming you'll even let a she be a minister, or there will surely be trouble. You see, in your mind, a person who chooses the highest calling should get the lowest pay. It is such a wrong thought. Wrong being not serving. In this case, relative to what serves you, relative to what you say you choose, your money thoughts are wrong thoughts. Remember, thought is creative. So if you think money is bad, yet you think yourself good, well, you can see the conflict. You'd rather starve than take filthy lucre for pure service, as if some of the service loses its purity if you take money for it. So here we have this real ambivalence about money. Part of you rejects it and part of you resents not having it. The universe doesn't know what to do about that because the universe has received two different ideas from you. So your life regarding money is going to go in fits and starts because you keep going in fits and starts about money. You don't have a clear focus. You're not really sure what's true for you. And the universe is a big photocopy machine. It simply produces multiple copies of your thought. Wow, is this powerful? Man, I just kept writing. I was like, okay, I'm done. And then I hear the next section and I said, I'm gonna keep on writing. Right here, I made a note of where to pick up and then I, I heard what it said and I said, I gotta keep writing. 
There's only one way to change all of this. You have to change your thought about it. And you have another root thought about money, that there's not enough. In fact, you have this root thought about just about everything. There's not enough money, time, love, food, water, compassion in the world. Whatever it is that's good, there's just not enough. This race consciousness of not enoughness creates and recreates the world as you see it. Well, this is really, really powerful message here today. And I'm so excited about it because I choose this answer. I choose to understand what goes on with money and how to have an increase in abundance. And the answer that I'm getting here, in summary, is that it's my idea about it. That I have this idea that money is bad. That it's filthy lucre. That it's easier for a camel to get through the head of a needle. The, the, you know, that little part on the needle. It's easier for a camel to get through there than for a rich man to get to heaven. That there is this idea that I picked up as a small child in this world and pro programming and it's helpful to be aware of it and what it's saying in there I, I see this I see this that the idea is that priests and rabbis should live on bread and wa water while coins are thrown at entertainers that I have this idea that the one who chooses the highest calling should get the lowest pay and that the maker is good and I am good and money is bad and so they don't mix and so I'm not really sure it's true for me because I, I have this idea that I'm, I'm on this holy path and I'm a messenger of, of this good news, this holy message. And that there's this idea that somehow if I take money for that service, the highest calling, somehow if I take money for it, that the service used loses its purity. Isn't it interesting? I see how I think this. And isn't it great news to recognize, okay, I, I am thinking this way and now I can change it. So on the next edition here, we're going to go on because man, was this just great. It goes on to talk about how to change that root thought, how to change my root thought about money and understanding that I have this idea that money is bad and I am good and God is good and my, my life purpose is good. And so receiving money for it doesn't mix really great message that I'm not, it says, I don't have a clear focus that I'm not sure what's true for me, so I'm decided to get, true, get sure, right? When I find out I'm not sure, well, let's get sure. I would like to be sure about money, sure about what is true for me. Something that's inspiring to me is that Neil Donald Walsh, when he was writing Conversations with God book one, and he asked this question, it was a legit question, and he got this answer, and this man is now a multimillionaire. Living his purpose has more bestsellers than I even, I, who knows how many. I mean, he's had so many books that he has written far beyond the Conversations with God series. And he got the message here, right? This is what I'm, here, this is what I'm hearing is he heard this message, he applied it, and he's living proof of it, which is great. I really love that. And I choose to demonstrate this message. So starting here today with the, the receiving of it and recognizing that these are my thoughts about money. I don't have a clear focus, but I'm gonna get clear, all right? I am getting clear. I hereby decide and declare. So we're gonna pick up here on, on the next edition with how to change this thought. It says something so powerful that the universe is a big photocopy machine producing multiple copies of my thoughts. So I have to change my thought if I would like to have an altered experience. All right, great to be here with you people. Till next time, this is Coach Miller Light, signing off.